Hello world and welcome back. If you actually listened to the ending of my last episode, that was slightly fail. I was right in the middle of saying see you later, goodbye and all that, and I jumped a gun. I ended the episode right then and there. By accident. Uh while I was waiting, I've noticed that this is not actually skin that Basil is wearing or showing. It is actually clothing. Uh, first hint is her face is a very pale color, while that is normal skin-like color, which is kind of why it threw me off in the first place. Because looking back here, you don't exactly see a lot of face. Uh, secondly, if you unequip her clothing, uh, you'll actually notice that the rest of her skin is actually light. No, I will not be doing that. So I've let her regenerate her health and force, so she's almost topped up, except for two vitality points, but I'm not going to wait for that either. Secondly, her maximum force and vitality is actually equal to themselves, or each other, 63-63. Now I guess I should actually save here, so we don't have to wait around again. Don't know why I didn't save earlier either, I'm not really thinking ahead. I noticed there was one or two upgrades for T3 M4, mainly like a bonus shield or something, bonus plate. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait, I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Me? Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. yourself call upon the power of the dark side but not even that can save you now this meeting is a stroke of luck for me my master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you you know I've actually noticed he's got almost the exact same viral blade that I'm using same style of course but he's got some sort of gold plating on his so it's probably like an Achani double sword or an actual viral blade double blade. Uh, double viral blade. Let's see, uh, is he actually gonna be around for a concussion grenade, I wonder? Stun, force push, the lightsaber. Let's go with force push and hope that works out. Only those two, huh? Okay. Always open up with whatever stuns you can. Well, actually, maybe not. I guess here I'm opening up with uh, grenades. Concussion grenade, though, that is a stun. She's gonna force push to try and keep them in place so the grenade can get there. T3M4 is actually going for the default stun. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Why we also saved. Who Three different dares to break my me who Let's try a different choice this time. Well, that I 
I kind of feel is a Jedi character kind of response, not smuggler becoming Jedi. And that isn't always the case. I think Darth Vader is the best example. He wasn't led to destruction. He was dark side. He was Jedi before, and actually became Jedi after too. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. Yep. No light side. No dark side. Okay, let's try this just as we did earlier. T3M4 just whiz around really quickly. 500 I or items. <laughs> Credits. Okay. Could anticipate an attack because, you know, just defeated some really important guy. And the door is closed again. Oh yeah, it was closed. Actually, I guess technically you could get too careful, considering the way some StarCraft games are played out. So, I was actually kind of expecting one of these ships to get off the planet with, but apparently not. And I don't really see the Evan Hawk anywhere. Wait, that did level up, right? I did. One level is not enough to defeat three, four different guys, though. Especially when I'm not spec for a persuasion, so. Uh, quickly, 
And T3, yeah, I do like you. But I want to do the cards for a little bit. What? Oh yeah, that's right, we don't have any mid packs. There are some stations I know in the Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic 2, where you can actually craft med packs, grenades, frags, and such. And craft your own weapons, not just upgrade them. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the Exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. That's not a bad plan. It might just work. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. just right now because she's low on health. So I'll take Karth with me. like a friendly ship. Now that I think about it, if uh, Candrus, whatever his name is, knows I broke into the Sith base, who else does? Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, no So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough! I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davik. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. 
as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. <laughs> Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Until I came along. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Kinda of forgot about Kello. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Footlocker. <gasps> Finally, a med pack. Huh? Yeah, dark side. Yes? So that's the throne room. Totally should have picked my uh, Basil for my companion. I'm assuming I'm still in the guest wing. Oh wait, that's the throne room. Okay. No problem. Got hey! It. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. <laughs> she just disappeared. Okay, I guess it was just an honest mistake. And I'm a reasonable man, so I'll just let it go this time. You better pay more attention to where you're going. Opening the wrong door around here can get you killed. Now get out of here and don't bother me again. He's a bounty hunter. Okay, so I guess these are the other doors or peoples. Standard door. Is this that slave swing thing? It is. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate. As well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. 
<laughs> As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back. Uh, not to interrupt your fun, but we do have to get underway. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. <laughs> Your job isn't finished yet, one another. Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? <laughs> but what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Sing random body parts. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Even Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Udro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Hmm. Nothing. Davik keeps us locked away in here day and night. I'm not even certain of the location of the torture chamber where they've got Udro locked away. I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. I have a feeling that I kind of lied, considering I'm not going to be here to tell Davik, you know? I have a feeling though that I am going to be running into that bound hunter. Kato? Kalos? Whatever again? Okay, I'm going to quickly save here because I don't know how often I can get away with it. Oops, it was a mistake. Barging into these quarters. No problem. Got it! And there is... Why does he need three beds? Looks like there is a footlocker over there. Oh, say. I have three is... Eight. Yep, three. Does he have a footlocker? He's about to enter. Mm, doesn't look like it. He's a simple Rodian. Don't mind me, Rodian. No problem. Got it. Ooh, empty room. Seriously, a rancor hit? No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Data pad? Ooh. Okay, where is it now? Here we go. <gasps> I'm in Kalo Nord's thing.
interesting. So that's the Rancor head then. And this is the trophy room. Okay, will you get mad at me again for coming in here? Apparently not. Foot locker. <laughs> Don't mind me. I guess you won't mind either for me just popping in here. <gasps> Here's a foot locker. Thank you for your seven credits. I'll leave you in peace. Uh, behind the throne room to the west. Oh, that looked like a Grand Ocean. Okay, well, let's quickly go over this way. It's gonna do crap. Okay, it's a uh, viral blade, I guess. Oh, wait. Energy T shield. Then attack. What? That's cheap. What? No one He is truly an idiot. Oh, now I'm attacking. Oh, this is what I did. What are you doing? And that's why you don't run in two feet from the actual guy, just to use your blast rifle. And that is also why you save your game often. No problem. Got it. Help! Horrible pathing control. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Can't tell what that other room is. Okay, let's save here again. And go up to that trend ocean. Oh, he's going the other way, quickly. Oh. Spice Lab Tech. 
I suppose he'll throw a concussion grenade at you and then attack you. You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumphed over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself, the battle against death against Oblivion. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle, and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Okay. Now I've got three companion things. Okay, what's over here? I don't want to go down there. <clears throat> I have a feeling that's not really going to be of any use to me. Computer pass card, okay. And let's see, G. Oh, ion rifle, that would be useful. What? Ready. What? And he yes. Have any. Okay. Oops. Ready.
What? of both my energy shields. Okay, remains, no. Can't talk with him, I guess. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Boy, he certainly need, seemed to know exactly what I was going for. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Ready. Right. Oh, say. Probably would like rifles, wouldn't he? Disruptor rifle? No. Oh, that's a disruptor pistol. Okay. Yes? Now that everyone has free levels and help, I think I should quickly save, considering that we literally have a limited amount of med packs now, and I don't know where the Epen Hawk is, so that's barracks, spice lab, hangar, okay, it looks like that I probably would have to go this way, okay, through the standard door. Terminal guard. Quite that easy. Oh wait, should probably go over here to that security terminal first. If I have any spikes? It would probably be useful. No, oh, use access card even better. 
seriously, lyrics at the hangar? Guest room. And we have four spikes. Now we should be able to just simply leave. Damn no shit, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. I have to fight both of them. Okay, well, let's use concussion on him. An energy shield. Concussion on him. Energy shield. And I'm actually more worried about Kalos, so I'm gonna drop an extra concussion just to be sure. And he doesn't have an energy shield. Yeah? Seriously? They killed me so fast. Ready. Who oh boy? Yeah, I'm not really well equipped for this at all. Uh, that looks like that's the throne room. Oh yeah, I remember now. Now aren't we glad that we saved often? Oh nice, I got both of them. Huh? What is he still doing what? over here? Okay, 
Okay, well, I'm not really worried about the hallways, so... Save here. And this time, let's try equipping a ranged weapon. Suppose that will do for now. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Yep, and concussion grenade. And shield. Then I guess taking him out, because then it's less damage and he's probably weaker. Just an idea. Concussion grenade. Energy shield. Attack. And you. And light. Medium. Medium. It's actually the best one, though. I guess that one. And I thought he had some sort of implant that gave him regeneration. Whatever. Him, attack him. Because as soon as he's out of the way, one on one. What? Said attack him, you do. What? Rapid is taking a lot of damage. Okay, throw another grenade. Ready? What? Wow. Myself and probably do a lot more damage. Ready. If I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Oh wow, lucky me. What? Putting him uh. down. Sure. How is he down? Whoa. Did that actually do damage? Yeah. Can you energy excellent? War suit. Excellent. Stuff. Yes. Where's okay. Uh, no 
no one's been knocked out right now. Okay, board the Ebon Hawk. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Okay, good. I was about to say, what happened to the rest of my friends? is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Oh no. I've minimized. Stupid thing. Oh, good. We're back. I hope it's actually recording now. Doesn't look like it on the exploit window. For Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Oh, yeah, of course. I have to do it. Now, oh, once again. Ooh, pretty nebula. Ooh, this is a scan. Whoa. Map in the bottom left, looks like. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. 
Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Okay. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Garth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Oh look, here she goes. <laughs> Chris running after her too. Oh say. I'm gonna get my There we go. Gisra. Before we continue, however, I'm going to save the game right here. And it is starting to get late. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, probably also has been going on for a while. And now that we've also finally left Terrace, we're actually probably going to become a Jedi really quickly now. So, um, thank you for watching. We shall see you guys next time. And hopefully those cutscenes actually did play out like they were supposed to. So, thank you. Have a good day.